Logan the Lehman Critic here. This review is for 1941. It's from 1979, directed by Steven Spielberg, and has way too many actors to list here. So, let's talk movies. A week after the bombing of Pearl Harbor, a Japanese submarine arrives on the California coast. They're looking to launch another attack, this time on Hollywood. As they fumble around to find Tinseltown, we have a couple of other stories intersecting. We've got an aspiring dancer whose girl is being stolen by a boorish soldier. We've got a zany pilot taking to the skies on his own in hopes of finding enemy planes. There's the general secretary who gets aroused by airplanes and a soldier that intends on exploiting that. I would say that those are probably the three main stories of 1941, but there's so much going on. Uh, there's a whole lot of things going on. A whole lot of stories and a whole lot of characters. The most common version of this film, I mean, the one you can find on DVD, uh, runs over two hours. And that is extraordinarily long for a comedy. Uh, they typically run at around 90 minutes, I would guess. Um, you might call this a uh, epic comedy. Uh, but for as long as the runtime is... Uh, there's at least something always going on, whether it be funny dialogue or the extremely well choreographed physical comedy. Um, the special effects, the miniatures and plane scenes, they all look good. Uh, they've aged quite well. The cast, whew, uh, boy. Uh, this is not a complete list, but I'll list off the ones I consider notable. John Belushi, Dan Aykroyd, John Candy, Ned Beatty, Robert Stack, Treat Williams, Tim Matheson, Toshiro Mifune, and my absolute favorite actor, Sir Christopher Lee. And I didn't even know he was in this movie until the day of, and I was ecstatic. Um, he plays a Nazi officer that's aboard the Japanese sub, and he interacts with Mifune, who plays the captain. Uh, both actors speak their character's native language the entire film. Lee, from what I can tell, speaks German flawlessly. I know he's <clears throat> he can speak like eight different languages, and I think he's like fluent in four of them, German being one of them, if I remember right. Um, but I loved seeing both of these actors, uh, particularly in a comedy. Uh, Belushi, Aykroyd, and, Ca and Candy, for, you know, for all their comedic talents, they're kind of underutilized, oddly enough. Um, it's curious that John Belushi figures so prominently in 1941's advertising, given how relatively small his part is, but the cast in general all work well in the roles that they're given. The dislike for this movie kind of puzzled me. I don't really get why people think that Spielberg made a turkey with 1941. It wasn't a bomb. I mean, it, it did not perform to the desired expectations, but it wasn't a flop. Um, it's actually quite funny. Um, it's sort of in the vein of Abraham's and Zucker's work. Though maybe not to some of the same extremes. It's not. I don't know if it's quite as absurd as like airplane will say. But if you like their work, 1941 will probably be entertaining for you. It runs long, but I enjoyed it quite a bit. Thanks for watching.